Hello. This is Nick the Rat Radio episode uh, new. This is the newest one. I don't know. I don't know even the number. I got to go check that out at, I guess, nicktherat.com. And then the the radio word. I got to click that and that and that button. Uh, this is episode 16. It's episode 16, everybody. I'm back from the sewer. I'm live. It's Thursday. Uh, January, Mar- March 31st, 2016. We're getting deep in there. We're getting... This is the end, isn't it? I should have did a show tomorrow, but then you couldn't believe anything that I say. I'm one of the most credible news sources out there. It's true. Okay, maybe it's not... Uh, let me just see... That's working. I think everything's working. I think we're live. And you know you're live when... When you got some Bitburner. Because, good gosh... Bitburner just makes some awesome music. And I think I'll open with him today with, uh... No, actually, uh... Yeah, why not? We'll play some Bitburner. This is a throwback for me, because it's about the woo-woo. Remember the woo-woo? That's the sound the dragons make. Well, Bitburner did a whole song about it. The latest rage for kids is driving parents and entire neighborhoods crazy. 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 It's insane. Dragons making people go crazy. The whistles go woo. Great, and I, I keep look out for dragons every night. So I hope we can go fly over to here after the dog is open. All right, then. Uh, take care. Bye bye. Well, yeah, that was uh, that was the bit burner. Jeez, you could just play like 24 hours of bit burner. That guy just cranks them out and he puts them out there for free. Cheers to you, bit burner. Tell me about the whistle. Tell me about it. Good song. That was a good song. We, uh... So here at Nick the Rat, we're, we're here to expose the truth. The truth shall be exposed today. 
I'm going to be talking about a whole bunch of evil government, like, human experiments that that were real. They're documented. They're 100% real. You can't say I'm crazy no more. You can't. It's, it's, it's real, I guess, because uh, I read it here, and it says this. I guess that means if you read it, is it real? If it is, then if you hear it, it's definitely real, and you're going to hear it. So it's going to be real for you, too. Uh, yeah, and but uh, I also invited back Dr. Phil because How's it going? He, it's going good. And uh, I just I invited him back because uh, after I tell you about the atro- atrocities of our government, I might need some help. So how are you doing overall? Um, I'm doing pretty good, but when we talk about this, it, it, you know, we're paying taxes, and th- this this bad stuff, it's done to us against our will. I didn't vote on things like MK Ultra and all that, you know what I mean? That's okay. I, well, yeah, but then again, maybe I would have wanted to been part of uh, MK Ultra. It's, it sounded kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Let's look into the, the MK Ultra. And it was it was run by the CIA. They they paid a guy. They paid a doctor for something called Subproject sixty eight. The guy's name was Donald. It wasn't Donald Trump? It was Donald Ewan Cameron. Maybe maybe he's just like James Cameron's cousin. I don't know. But they they got paid to do Project. 68, which is not even 69. I'm sure they got a lot of money for it, too. Is it, can we see their tax returns or their W-2s or 4s or whatever they have to submit? Are they are they non-profit? I don't know. Uh, yeah, let me just click around here. No, they're... They were... Uh, yeah, they... So they gave people mind-altering substances and stuff. Which I guess I'm okay for, you know. Give me some good wine or something, uh, and you know they, they try to mind control people. And uh, he was paid from fifty-seven to sixty-four. That's a good long run there. I don't think I ever had a job for like longer than a day. And that's more than a day. Fifty-seven to sixty-four. That's uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty. That's seven years. Seven years of our tax dollars went to this guy. To get people high. It's kind of cool. But then he also started doing, like, uh, the electroshock therapy and stuff. That's, uh, uh, that's kind of fucked up. I don't know. Uh, I, and I don't see any results from this MK Ultra. I don't see anything like we got from that. Like, is the iPhone a product of MK Ultra? Was this all worth it? Was, was it? I don't know. But then it got even worse because apparently he started to experiment on kids. And what? And in one situation, had the child engage in sex with high rank. And he filmed it? Wait a second. So. So there was. I didn't even know there was a pedophilia twist to the MK Ultra. You heard it here, maybe first, people, on. on uh, Nick the Rat Radio. Rat free radio, uh, something like that. But there's more, tons more to come, and we should play some more music and mix that with people talking about drugs, cause ooh, maybe that'll trigger some people to give me a call at nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. Here's Hint Kick with Explorers, or Hint Kick Explorers, Agro Fox. It's Agro Fox with the. It's yeah. It, the band is Argo Fox, and the song is Sin Kick Explorers. Didn't Paul McCartney do a lot of drugs? Maybe he was part of this. And then the government started using musicians to propagate. Advertisements? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
believe that this is a matter which you should have kept private. I mean, the thing is, you know, that I was asked a question in the newspaper. And the decision was whether to tell a lie or to uh, tell him the truth, you know. I decided to tell him the truth. But I, I really didn't want to say anything, you know, because if I had my decision, uh, you know, I had my way, I wouldn't have told anyone, because I'm not trying to spread the word about this. The man from the newspaper is the man from the mass media. You know? I'll keep it a personal thing. But he does too, you know, he keeps it quiet. But he wanted to spread it, so it's his responsibility, you know, to spread it, not mine. If you're a public figure, you need to be the first person to move and make a mistake. Well, to say it, you know, is only to tell the truth. And I'm telling the truth, you know. I don't know what everyone's so angry about. Do you think you've got to have the courage to I don't think it'll make any difference, you know. I don't think I'm going to take the road just because I can. The thing is, well, if that's not the case anyway, you know, I was asked whether I had or not. And then from then on, the whole bit about how far it's going to go and how many people it's going to encourage is up to the newspapers and up to you, you know, on television. When you're spreading it now at this moment, it's going into all the homes, you know, the And I'd rather it shouldn't, you know. If you're asking me the question, you want me to be honest, I'll be honest. And as a public figure, it's really the responsibility. Not to no, not it's you've got the responsibility. You've got the responsibility not to spread this now. You know, I'm quite prepared to keep it as a very personal thing, if you will too. If you shut up about it, I will. Well, damn! Paul Garney probably did a lot of drugs. Tasty! Uh, let me ask you one other thing, George, because... Uh, it's George it's, uh, Harrison on Do you have any thoughts on, on why George Harrison? hard drugs and rock stars are... It yeah. becomes synonymous. I mean, you can see why if he had a life like Bessie Smith had or um, Billy Holiday or something like that, whatever they, what they went through. Uh, if I were them, I suppose I would take anything that was available. But I mean, yeah. most of the people in rock haven't had that dismal, grinding, horrible kind of life. That uh, is it in any way a way of emulating those other people who who were. What was he like? Uh, well, the quiet like people. Those. Uh, There's a lot of time, you know. I mean, a lot of pop people who go through a hell of a lot you know just say in one year they go they see so much and they get, a lot they of get drugs. so so many different things that uh, they either just want to get high I mean basically it starts <clears throat> with people who just want to get high you know like people drink I mean that's a big problem people get have a drink like I suppose after the show maybe you have a drink just to get a little high so musicians you know either drink a little bit or maybe they smoke a bit and then they want to get a bit high you know and they sounds the, sort of really looking for something mm -hmm. and it's the same with all those Bessie Smiths and all those people because the world is such a, a hard place to try and and make it in so I mean it, it, they're all just like buffers all those drugs and things and I suppose if they get on top of you you know they get next to you what, why uh, the, the ones who've killed themselves your, your colleagues what, why heroin well that seems to be the big one yeah. I don't uh, I'm really unqualified to talk about heroin because I've never taken it yeah. and Good on uh, you, I really Harris. don't intend to there's uh you know, I'm sure it's just, uh, it's probably just the best high, you know, that's what it's down to. It's the one that gets the way he says hi, that's why I keep playing this, I'm sorry. But it just happens to kill you faster as well. I just want to hear him say hi. I mean, they all sort of kill you in one way or another. And there's very few people who seem to be able to experience something like heroin and then get away from it. Because it just gets in the system and they become dependent on it. I don't know. It's sad, you know, it's really sad because they're all oh. looking for some deep love or something like that and uh, they, they miss it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's much better yeah. to uh, try and not take any drugs, you know, if you can uh, get straight, <laughs> uh, really straight, then in a way it's much higher. I mean, I'm not really qualified to talk about that either. Yeah. I mean, I'm sort, of, well, I'm sort of in the middle, you know. All right, well, he's, 
He probably threw a couple of drinks back there. That was uh, Argo Fox with Him Kick Explorers mixed in with a whole bunch of Beatles talking about get, getting high. Uh, as I said earlier, I got a phone line. You could talk to me about the government and drugs or whatever. Aliens. Uh, this show was for aliens. So anyway, lines 917 Five nine two three. Uh, let me play a voicemail. This is all I don't know. I'm just hitting the button, folks. Hey, yo, Nick the Rat. It's Donnie Donuts over here. <laughs> just letting you know, the guy that called about the supermarket. Man, fuck that guy, man. You don't know shit. You don't know what go down in the supermarket, yo. What? We got two for one. We got all kinds of shit. Man, I see him, I'm going to slap him up. You know what I'm saying? Yo, keep doing your thing, Chicken Wayne. Holy crap. That's a call back to, like, one of my first callers who said that they saw me at a supermarket and touched my hand with when I reached for a banana. <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know what he's talking about. Uh... You know, I didn't just come in on a load of turnips. I know that. I didn't say turnips. I said uh, bananas, I think. Do you agree that you've smoked pot? N- not as much as George Harrison probably did. But, whew. Yeah, we got a lot of phone calls this week. Uh, What is... Maybe I should play another one? Because I got, like, so freaking many of them? Well, yeah, I could play one more voicemail. And then... And then maybe I'll talk about more more experiments on people and how the government is doing it out in, in the public. Uh, let me give you a teaser. The next thing is about mustard gas. Oh, man. Who wants to talk about mustard gas? I want to talk about ketchup gas. Uh, the gas that burns you. Woohoo, it's some spicy mustard. I know some people on YouTube that would probably like like eat that. Wait, ah, oh. large fluid-filled blisters twelve hours after exposure. That's no. Oh. oh, they used it on guinea pigs too. Oh man, our government are sick. All right, let's listen to a uh, another voicemail and then another song. But this is all true. You could look it up. It's on the internet. It's on the internet. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I just want to let you know. <laughs> Your music got me laid the other night. <laughs> what? Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, don't thank me. Wow, these are all from the same artist, Ag- Argo Fox. He just came out with a whole shitload of music at one point, and I just stumbled across it tonight, huh? Well, here's some more Argo Fox with From the Dust. Do you understand at all what I'm saying? No. Do you agree that you smoke? Uh, depends. Do you agree that you smoke pot? Sure! How about when this is over, we go do a little coke? No, I'm not partying with you, Dr. Phil. You're crazy. Get out of here. One, two, three. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, Dr. Bill's going to blow up. He just did nine lights of cocaine. There's something wrong with that guy. What is the problem? Might be you. Okay. Good. Fair enough. Doctor Phil's floating around the room right now. This is uh, interesting. Sound like a logical thing to do? I poke you with the stick to get you down? Yeah. I'll poke you with a fucking stick, man. Get off my ceiling. Are you mad? <laughs> quit being mad at me. Okay. I'll quit being mad at you. That was another one from Margo Fox from the Deuce. From the Dust. Or Supernova. I don't they got a lot of names on their stuff. But they're really good. I just kind of picked some music and played them, and that's what I got. Uh, good job, Argo Fox. So we talked about we talked about mustard gas. Well, well, let's talk about the uh, the Japanese guy named Doctor Shiro Ishii. He's head of the medicine of the Imperial Japanese Army during World War II. Uh. Uh, he was, uh, we gave him, oh, he tested vivisections. Oh, I'm guessing that means he cut into, th- uh, that's not like a, he gave people vasectomies? No, I think this is something more with the nerves, not with the, that would be disturbing. Why would they pay some dude to cut off their balls? But apparently this was more of like a, oh, a neurological thing. They paid some dude to do stuff like that. Why would this, who did this? I need more information, people. And I am in no reasonable place to be reading right now, because, uh, because I'm a little bit drunk off of the Malbec. Ah, oh, it's good. Malbec is decent. Uh, so, yeah. So, oh, we granted immunity to him. We let the, some crazy Japanese torture doctor. Uh, we gave him immunity. I guess that's not... Well, you know, whatever. Maybe there is more to this guy. Maybe he made, like... like Maybe he developed an easier way to make sushi or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe he helped some somebody secretly. We see we we get little chunks of the story, but we never get the whole story because that's impossible to get people. So you should never pass judgment on anything, really. We all gotta try to chill and relax. And the more chill and relaxed you feel, you should call nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. And leave me a voicemail like these other callers have. Uh, as this one is has as well, perhaps. I hope it doesn't have to do with food again. These food mobsters. 
Hey, listen, Nick the Rat, Tommy Tomato here. Oh, listen it's... up, Mophead. This guy that called in before, who the fuck does he think he is? Albert Einstein of the fucking supermarket? What's going on with he's all these fucking callers these days, man? He acts like he's the fucking genius of the TV dinner aisle. He doesn't know jack shit. I'll see you on Saturday at the bowling alley, jackass. What's up, uh... I only bowl on Sundays, if at all, and usually it's digitally. And it's not even bowling, it's shooting digital people. Man. Um. Jeez. Well, since I have so many voicemails, I could play another one. I could play. I could play voicemails for days. That's how popular the Nick the Rat show is in exposing the truth to get to the aliens so Japanese could perform vasectomies on people that are doing drugs and making music and selling advertisements for Coca-Cola to the populace. Here's another voicemail. Hello there, this is Frank. I just want to let you know that if you keep on exposing the truth of the government, we will have to send black helicopters and very mean men to your house. Think about that the next time you talk about us. Have a good one. Oh, God. I think I might just shut this whole show down. Is it? Is this worth it to play free music to everybody and free your mind with information and all this stuff? If the, the government's obviously gunning for me now, holy crap. I think Argo Fox could save me. Can you, Argo Fox? May you? With the song name May... Dash Terminus. I don't, I don't know how you name your songs, bro. But here you go. Some more Argo Fox for you. Oh boy! I can feel my rat feet going crazy right about now! How about when this is over, we go do a little coke? No! You gotta grow up! What? Doing cocaine is not part of growing up! Are you nuts? No! You are a, a paranoid controller. Okay. Well, yeah. you can say that. Argo Fox is super chill. I might, you know, send aliens to his house if they ever come visit me. And they have a well, look at that. You can see my dick from here. Oh, man. Duke's here. I've got balls of steel. Hey, Duke. Oh, man. Are you here because the new Doom game's coming out? Balls. Have a taste of my ball. No, I want to play some Doom. I'm an equal opportunity ass kicker. No, no. <laughs> Wasted. Do you agree that you smoke pot? All right, I'll agree with you. Give me some pot, Dr. Phil. Oh, wow, 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 wow,
Cowbells, that was awesome. Wow, Argo Fox. You're awesome. You and Bitburner should like make like a trio. I don't know how that would work, but <sighs> so let's go back to the list of other things that America has done. Uh, why is this only America? I bet you there's list from like like other places that did a lot worse than just America could do. I don't know. American sewers aren't so bad. I'll drink to that. Hold on one second. Deadly chemical sprays on American cities. Oh. Uh, CIA released the whooping cough virus on Tampa Bay. Is this true? Let me do a Google search right here. CIA whooping cough. In Tampa Bay, this probably explains why all those all those uh, crazy Florida people stories. You've read them. You just type Florida man or Florida woman, and you're gonna get a list. Oh wait, look, Snopes. We go to Snopes. Is, why does this look like the mobile version? The Tuskegee Civil Study. This is a list of a whole bunch of things. Oh man. 66, 1677, 82. Uh, let's see. Uh, that's a debunked CIA whooping cough experiment in 1955. Kills 12 people. It's debunked. I don't know. See, I'm just opening up the, the lines for you. I'm letting you know that they might have killed people. I don't know. Let me read the next one. Uh, U.S. And they infect Guatemalans with STDs. That must have been a fun mission. Uh, uh, 2010, Hillary Clinton apologized for the events? What? Okay, here's a news clip. Let's. It's, this was unearthed by a researcher at Wellesley College. Elizabeth Cohen. What she found is that in the 1940s, On doctors CNN. of the U.S. Public Health Service, a part of the U.S. government, uh, were interested in studying sy uh, syphilis and penicillin. They had penicillin. They weren't quite sure how well it worked. It was in the early days of penicillin. So they went to Guatemala, Baby and penicillin. they found some prostitutes with syphilis, and uh -huh. they arranged for the prostitutes to have sex with prisoners mm. in jail, and also with patients who were in a mental hospital to infect those patients and then give them penicillin to see if it worked. Wow, now, sometimes the patients hookers will do didn't anything. get sick. So what they did was they, and this is really horrible, they took their arms and their penises and would abrade them, would sort of rough them up and pour the bacteria onto that skin. What? And then when that didn't work, they would sometimes just inoculate into the life? spine. They would do a spinal puncture uh -huh. and give the syphilis that way and then they would try the penicillin to see how it works if it's that hard to catch to syphilis i'm going it's to the nearest whorehouse today this, this, happened is, hang on. this is a u.s government we're talking about correct human guinea pigs human human guinea pigs oh, sponsored that's just by the u.s government so here's the humans? apology uh we deeply regret that it happened and we apologize to all the <coughs> excuse me to all the individuals who were affected by such abhorrent research practices well jeez <laughs> okay I know, it's I almost know. like you don't know what to say. I, mean, we think I about, know what you know, to say. The Tuskegee Institute, the, the research there that they did on, on African Americans. I, why did, before we get to that, right. we'll get to that part of it. Why did it take 60 years to come to light? You know because what, apparently were, this was the, nobody are you stupid? This. this researcher at Wellesley College was looking into... You know what they're doing right now? Tuskegee and found that we'll find out. And Cutler, that before he did Tuskegee... He went to Guatemala, so she found these documents and she brought them to light. As a matter of fact, we called the Guatemalan embassy this morning. Was anybody sent to jail for this? They, they didn't really even have anything to say. They said this was new to them. They had just heard about it. And we mentioned oh. the Tuskegee experiment. Is there any relationship? Yeah, no, you mentioned the Tuskegee experiment. Doctor, but there is a 
difference, which I think is important to point out. In Tuskegee, what they did, and this was in the 30s through the 70s, with African-American, with African-American men, forces, yeah. right, African-American men, these were men who naturally had syphilis. They had just caught it on their own. But the government How could you prove that? How could you prove anything? For the syphilis, they had penicillin, and they didn't use it. They chose not to use it so they could study the natural course of the disease. So it's, you know, both are horrible. I don't want to compare one to the other. Both are horrible, but they are but different. You just did. Miss, I, I, Missy? I really, it's unfathomable, as you said, and it, I saw you really just getting um, choked up there. Yes, I can't it's, believe it's it. so yeah. disturbing, and you know, thanks more than just today, disturbing standards. There, you know, at that time, <laughs> you know, it was like the Wild West. You could mm-hmm. pretty much do whatever you wanted. It now, still is. There are standards for it, so that those the kinds standard. of things we hope don't happen. <laughs> Secretary of State, Health and Human Services Secretary, both Services. apologizing as well. The government should apologize for this. Right. It's horrific. This doesn't live up to our standards. As no, Americans. no, and 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 <laughs> you know, thank God. Hopefully, this. Is no, it does not happen now. There are standards in place. You would never get away with doing this now. All right, so what did we get from that other than, oh, man. Now I'm just upset. And to make me not upset, I'm going to play another voicemail. I'm just happy people are calling in. Let's see what we got here. Hey, Nick the Rat. My name is Slater. I'm from the future. And I'm traveled back in time to stop the election. Donald Trump, I need your help. Call me back. Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. Wow! Was that Duke Nukem calling me? Is Duke Nukem from the future? I don't know. I don't think he is. He was just some dude that got drunk and was badass, right? Go ahead. Make my day. Just, what? All right, I'll make your day, bro. Shit happens. Yeah, of course it does. And you know what? The guy making it happen is Argo Fox with the plague dream. <laughs> Really? Sure! And just don't think, just start talking. Okay. Um, well, now I'm thinking about... And then I can't. Because you told me not to. When I was going to talk, you told me not to think about it. But then I thought about it. But then you said I couldn't. So a better suggestion would have just been think about it, but start talking and think while you talk. That's a load of crap. I like big guns, and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny! How do you define success? Uh, being able to drink wine from a cup a glass here. That's success. Good glass, too. Fits in your hand. I would say success is drinking wine from a glass cup that fits in your hand. If you're doing that, you're doing pretty good in my book. Well, that's just my book. I thought I told you one time, I'll tell you 16 times. Stop blasting that monkey bullshit up from the sewer. You're trampling my HS signals out of Mexico. I can't get my slave labor coach made. I can't get my signal down there because you trampling my motherfucking signal. I can hear that shit coming up to my... Nick the Rat! Hey, 
motherfucker. You're a badass motherfucker. I just wanted to tell you that, motherfucker. Nick the Rat! Go ahead, make my day. Dr. Phil. That's you, Dr. Phil. You know what? I'm not some schmo here. No. No, you're not, Dr. Phil. You're a really bright dude. Because you're bald and there's so much light bouncing off your head. Give me a short answer. No. Tell me your best quality. Uh, it would be the Nick the Rat Show, which you're listening to live Thursday. It's a... Uh, it's nice, like 40, 50 degrees in a sunsetty New York City. Uh, it's a Thursday, uh, 15 on the so 20, quarter to 7 on Thursday. Let's do sponsorships. Uh, today's sponsor, this came into the sewer. I was really happy about this one. It's a Sawyer mini water filter. It's a 0.1 micron absolute hollow fiber membrane water filter. I could drink shit from the sewer and it's purified. It comes out like pure water. Like like uh, Avion, Avion, or whatever. You know, you just slap this guy on there and you get to the dust and the feces. Hopefully the feces. I don't know if this is feces certified. I had to check into that. Anyway, we also got uh Fenika Flitchman Melback from Robble Roble Robble Robble. It's a 2014 Melback from Ms. Mendoza, Argentina. It's good. I'll be drinking more of that in a little bit, folks. But but of course we have we have to talk about more about aliens and the government. And, uh, uh, but instead of aliens, let's talk about paperclips. Apparently, Operation Paperclip was named so because the paperclips used to attach the scientists' new profiles to their U.S. personnel pages. Whew. Oh, this is, this is when we took German Nazi scientists under the American wing. Oh, man. I wonder what kind of scientists we're stealing now. Maybe they're like, oh, man. It's fun to think about these things because if it happened back then and history repeats itself, it's probably happening now. Which means Deus Ex, the video game, with J.C. Denton is not far off from the truth currently happening right now. It's happening, people. I'm telling you, there's... There's cybernetic scientists making 3D printed fucking... Woo-hoo. I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. Hold on. All right, well, this has happened. And Truman did this. Or something. During that time period. Look it up. Operation Paperclip. I'm tying it to Deus Ex. Do, do sex. Do sex, everybody. Uh, I guess... I guess that Adam guy's not horrible. J.C. Denton was so much more cooler, though, because he was just... He was just like, I'm J.C. Denton. And, and then the Adam was like, he's all into it. He's like, uh, how does Adam talk? Yeah, I fucking choose this. Oh, man. Oh, so, you know, J.C. is just cool. He's just chilling. Uh, and so is this next caller that we got. Uh, let's play this voicemail. What well, hell, Mr. Batman, this is totally jubilant, man. I was just smoking a joint with some new show earlier. What a see great work to do, man. You're exposing the aliens and exposing the government. You. You're just having a good time playing music, man. Yeah. I just wanted to say that. Oh, hold on one second. <laughs> Alright, man, just don't let the naysayers bring you down, bro. <laughs> Ranch 420, baby. Um, 
Thank you for the call. Jeez. Uh, luckily, we have more music to get that flushing noise out of your ears. Uh, I think I got two more songs from Argo Fox. Holy crap. He just dominated this list. I'm so grateful and sorry for... This. I'm going to thank him somehow. I'm going to say thank you, Argo Fox. Argo. Argo. Uh, this one's called Mike Chino, Dream Chaser, Marco Fox! Wait, hold on, people. Hold on. Now, this is an advertisement. Uh, I also want to say thanks to Sculpey. Sculpey, you've been awesome. Uh, Argo Fox! Your face, your ass, what's the difference? You seem to me to be a, a very honest and straightforward individual. Unethical human experimentation in the United States! There's a wet beach. Look it up. Up my plane, got all that weed. What's up with that man? Trying to like goofy over here? My pay up? Hey, yep. The fucking captain of the dollar. Um. He who yells loudest and last ain't right. Shut up! I'm so sorry. This is an eat what you kill world. If, if you if you don't kill something, you just don't go eat what he killed. Is that the truth or a lie? Are you avoiding reality? No. Do you want to play some games or talk about the government? Quit taking yourself so damn seriously. Okay, let's talk about aliens! Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Holy shit. Take the rat. I didn't do a fucking my sister, Nick. This fucking got to end. You Johnny Pickles over here. I'm gonna come and fucking kill you, man. I know you're in the sewer. Come and get you. Johnny Pickles. I'm gonna kill you. Don't you dare touch my sister again, motherfucker. I, was, I never touched her. She's crazy. Play it on my beatbox. You can't jam out here. And you find those really good tunes, man. You're going to have to get better with the mirror. Ah! Yeah, it's so broken. And we're going to have to get better with the And now I'm just going to jam out the mirror. So play some of those, uh, play some of those bad boots, man. Yeah. Thank you. And bye. Wow. Uh, 
That was Argo Fox with Mike Chino and the Dream Chaser. Uh, let's see. Uh, infecting Puerto Rico with cancer. Uh, midnight Climax. What's that? Uh, it's a government experiment. Uh, midnight Climax. Operation. If this is like a weird government porno... I'll be pleasantly surprised, but I don't think it is. What is this? Well, let's play the shortest YouTube clip I could find about Operation Midnight. It's, this is linked to MK Ultra. Let's see. This is the shortest one I could find. Just a drilling noise. Oh, man. Yeah, that's YouTube Live. All right, how about this one? This one has got like a naked chick. 1950, the CIA launched a top secret mind control project, MK Ultra. I need a guarantee. I do this thing for the company, and I get my commission back. Guarantee, baby. The CIA is the way. Never thought I'd be a spook. Look, this ain't just any liquid, man. It's like Coolsville don't cover it, baby. Everything These bronze know the score. Just make sure I get my 50 a week, G-Man. Those ladies of the evening, they know this means cash. And that's all they need to know. I'll take the first shift. Operation Midnight Climax. Operation Uh -huh. Well, that didn't explain the real life thing. I hope it's not just a uh, ad for a uh, it's, it's Wikipedia. Yeah, uh, it's a CIA run safe house in San Francisco, Marin, and New York. What's Marin? Is that in San Francisco? It looks like sounds like a Marin. Country, California, okay, uh, yeah, and New York is established in order to study the effects of LSD on unconsenting individuals. Prostitution on the CA payroll was instructed to lure clients back to the safe houses where they were surreptitiously plied with a wide ranges of substances, including LSD, and monitored behind one-way glass. People. You thought you were paranoid, but it's true. They're watching you. Right. Now. Several significant operational techniques were developed in this theater, including extensive research into sexual blackmail, surveillance technology, and the possible use of mind-altering drugs in field operations. People, and you want, you want to get rid of encryption? You want a backdoor? Dude. Dude. I want more voicemail. That's what I want. Let's see if we could find anything to lighten the mood right now. Because it is getting serious. It's serious, people. It's crazy. Uh, uh, anything new? Do we got new ones? I think I do. Voicemail. Hey, Nick the Rat, man. This is Kyle from Seattle. Hey, Seattle. Oh, man. I just wanted to call and let you know I really like your show, man. Like, I smoke up, and I just listen to the shit you say. Yeah, man. And some of it just, it like, it makes no sense, but it's cool. And uh, the music's kind of weird, but I like it a little. Yeah, you're doing good things, man. Keep it up, bro. All right, uh, whoo. I'm down with what he's smoking. You know what I mean? Maybe? What is he smoking? Um. Wow. Uh, I've been on for. Let's see, how long has it has, has, 54 minutes. And I want to tighten it out to like. I want to get like a nice clean hour. A nice clean one. Because the cleaner, the better, people. The dirtier, the messier, something. So then I gotta do that, and I gotta do that. 
Game over. No, not yet. Not, not yet, my friend. We still have more voicemail to play. We got one more. We have one more voicemail. And then I'm going to talk about something, and then we're going to close it out. Hey, yo, this is Donnie Donuts. What's going on, man? Hey, yo, I just heard that bullshit you just playing from Tommy Tomato or whatever the fuck his name is, man. Let me tell you something, man. Yo, when I see that motherfucker, I'm going to slap him up. I'm telling you right now, I'm going to use my dick. Well, uh, thank you, callers. Uh, 917-719-5923. Leave a voicemail. I'll play it. I don't even listen to it. People have prank called me, left me, I don't know. I don't know what they've left. It's kind of frightening. I'm, if you listen to this, you might be on a list. There might be a black helicopter outside your house right now. I think I've proved it with, with all this. Uh, another couple chilling things I could leave you with. This is fallout radiation on unspecific, unsuspecting, unsustructable Pacific territories. Yeah, apparently uh, we blew up a whole bunch of bombs. Something called Project 4.1. Let me look up Project 4.1. That's probably... Let's go to the Wikipedia for that was the designation for a medical study conducted by the United States of those residents of the Marshall Islands exposed to radioactive fallout from March 1st, 1954 Castle Bravo nuclear test at Bikini Atoll. It sounds like a sushi roll. Which had an unexpectedly large yield. Pew. They didn't expect to blow people's pants off. Government and mainstream historical sources point to the study being organized on March 6th or March 7th, 1954, six days after the Bravo shot. So Project 4.1 was a medical study on people. Oh, I see. They're saying, oh, they, they did Project 4.1. They, either way, they blew up a nuclear bomb right next to people. That's your government. It's your government. That's what it is. They're going to blow up a bomb right outside your door to do a test. And they're not going to know. I'm in the sewer, so I really don't care. That's why I'm really happy. And I'm going to close out the hour. 7 o'clock hour. Just hit 7 o'clock right now up in New York City. It's in Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, New York, and the sewer in the city at 7 o'clock, and it's about 50 out. <sighs> Let's play some more Argo Fox. Have a good night, everybody. Jesse Warren! Miles something. Or other. Miles above you. Ah. Argo Fox. Go check them out. They're amazing. Argo Fox. Uh, thanks, Rainer. Okay. Steals my microphone and tells me nobody's listening except New York. Hey! New York. That's awesome. I love New York. It's really dirty here. Sewery. Lots of places for me to go. It hurts to be you. No, it doesn't. You talking to me? Yeah, I am. Eat shit and die. Uh-huh. <laughs>
Doom! Doom's coming out, man! I need a beta key! I gotta shoot some digital people! Do you agree that you've smoked pot? Maybe! Hey, listen, Nick the Rat, Tommy Tomatoes. Listen up, mophead. This guy that called in before, who the fuck does he think he is? Albert Einstein of the fucking supermarket? What's going on with all these fucking callers these days, man? He acts like he's the fucking genius of the TV dinner aisle. He doesn't know jack shit. I'll see you on Saturday at the bowling alley, jackass. Hi, Nick. This is Jay. Call me from Maine. I wonder if you have any opinions on... Artificial intelligence, possibly taking over the planet, enslaving mankind. Uh, I want to know if you have any opinions on that. Thank you very much. Love the show. Bye. Hi, this is Nick Rad. My name is James Pickles. I just want to say your voice is real weird. Hold my brother about me. Oh, I really, really want to. My hot knife, hot, hot. Oh, God. Hey, hey, Nick, this is Tommy fucking Tomato. What's going on, man? Yeah, listen, you're a fucking liar. I saw you buying all those uh, bananas and whatever with that other guy in the supermarket yesterday. Don't try to fucking lie. I'll see you tomorrow. I still never saw that guy. Shit happens. Well, you know, I did not ever buy these bananas. I had apples that day. We could go back and listen to the tapes. See you in hell. Oh, the show's over. I know that, but I don't want to see you in hell. Man. This is going to be a changing day in your life. It probably is. So I'm going to drink some more of this wine. Anybody else getting drunk out there? It's, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday night plus uh, plus another seven, eight, nine, 19 hours. It's Wednesday night plus 17 hours. Thursday, 7.05. Let's see if I hit the hour mark. Oh, oh what a shitty, what a shitty ending to the show, huh? It's not a shitty ending to the show. Come on. Come on! It was great. It was a good Nick the Rat episode. It came from the sewer. It was live from the sewer. You didn't. If you didn't like listening to this live, or calling in to 917-719-5923, spoof. You have a drink, you have a beverage, you had a long day at work, you're doing things, and it's, whew, things trying to kill you left and right. It's a hard, hard day's night. You might get shot, making music for the government, trying to sell Coca Cola to people just so you could feed your kids. So, you know, relax. Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Bye. Hey, Nick the Rat. I don't know if you know this, but I saw you yesterday in the grocery store. We reached for the same banana. Our hands.